Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at another new color. Uh, this is one color that I was kind of convinced was forbidden. I asked like four different bait makers over on Instagram uh, what the name of this color was and nobody replied to me. I don't know if they just didn't want to share information or, or if they were just busy. Who knows? Maybe I just have bad luck with that. But uh, nonetheless, I finally figured out what the name of this color is uh, and it is Methylate from Lureworks. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, Feel free to call me a dumb redneck in the comments. I probably deserve it. Uh, but nonetheless, this is Methylate 132 from Lure Works. Uh, and if you've been here on the channel very long, you know that I have not really experimented with any of the Lure Works products, and I'm excited to branch off a little bit. So I ordered a big thing of this Methylate, and I ordered a big thing of the Chameleon from Lure Works, which is another very popular color that we'll have here on the channel before long. Uh, but we're going to check out this color today in a few of our epic bait molds. Uh, we're going to do two bass style molds and two crappie style molds. We've got the 4.6 inch Nico, which is a great worm profile. We have the 2.75 inch Ned, which is going to be a really nice Ned profile. We have the 2 inch crappie slayer, which is a great crappie jig. And the 3 inch curly tail grub, which will just give us a little bit different profile uh, with that thicker body and the thinner tail. We'll see if we can come up with a good drop per cup ratio. Uh, and just go from there. See if we like this color. I'm going to do it pure, no flake, just straight methylate into our 242 medium from Bait Plastics. I'm going to get some of that hot and let's check out this methylate. Okay, so I've worked my way all the way up to 150 drops uh, in a two cup amount, which is a lot of pigment. Uh, I was just trying to see how bright I could really get this stuff. Uh, and if you look at it here in the cup, you can tell that it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look like what you see in the posts and all that stuff uh, from other people who are messing with it. But don't be discouraged. I don't know if it's just the lighting in here or if it's how it looks in a cup, uh, but you can put it into a test mold uh, and you can get that awesome bright pink color. Uh, it just looks different in the cup for some reason, so don't be discouraged. Uh, but that is what it looks like with 150 drops in a two cup amount. That is a ton and I don't seem to be getting any brighter uh, beyond that. So that's just kind of what we're gonna do. You could probably get away with not using that much but that's what we're going to use here for illustration purposes. Okay, this is an amazing color as you can see. We're not even directly under the shop light uh, and it is just so bright. If I get directly under the light, it just blows the camera out. But an amazing color. I think this is going to get bit just because the fish either don't see it or because in the dirty water they'll be able to locate it so easily uh, without having to search around for it. But truly an amazing color. I'm going to take this out under the light, let you see it under the, the sun I should say. Uh, and then we're going to check it out in the tank as well. Uh, that way you can see some action on these neds while we have a bright color made up. So here's what it looks like outside. It's even brighter. Uh, there's a little bit of shade, a little bit of sun, kind of what you would expect on a good fishing day. But yeah, that is exactly what this color looks like. It's so bright. Uh, I'm excited to see what it looks like in the test tank. So let's not waste any time and let's drop one of these ned rigs. Uh, down in that test tank. Okay, we're going to see if we can get some action footage of this on a net rig just to show you how the 2.75 works and how the methylate looks in the water. 
Uh, as you can see, it does stand up as a net rig should. We're just going to pop it around the tank a few times. It seems like the more you pop it, the more it wants to stand up. I guess just because that head kind of digs into the ground a little bit. I've got the filter running just to simulate a little bit of water movement. But it looks pretty good in the test tank. Just going to keep popping it around, let you see it. It's really hard to do in such a small space. Uh, and some of that action is being uh, impaired just because I'm hitting the lid when I'm doing this. But as you can see, it does stand up pretty good. And that is going to get eaten, especially by some small mouth or even some large mouth are going to love that. Probably even catch some smaller fish, some panfish on that thing. It just depends how big they are uh, in your area. Okay, guys, that is Methiolate from Lure Works. Amazing color, super bright as you can tell. Uh, this is pretty much unparalleled to any color that I've messed with before, apart from maybe the transparent chartreuse from MF. Uh, this is just as bright as that, just in a different color scheme, maybe even a little bit brighter. It is pretty wicked looking stuff, as you can tell just by me showing it to you here on this tray. Uh, it is pretty amazing. I'm actually about to make some darters in this color to put on the back of one of my craw color chatterbaits that I'm going to be throwing in a tournament this weekend, uh, just as something really bright and obnoxious in your face even a blind fish can find it uh, and i need all the help i can get so we're definitely going to be doing that uh, if you want to pick up any of this color i will leave a link in the description below to lure works website they have a pile of colors this is a pint if you need something for scale uh, this is a lot this will make a lot of baits uh, but not too bad pricing is pretty good uh, and if you can order several things it helps out on the shipping if you want to pick up any of these baits, I'll have some of these on the website. If you guys like it, I will make this a color that stays in stock all the time, like these colors back here. Uh, and we'll just keep restocking, and you guys can keep buying them if it's something that you guys like. It's kind of up to you guys on that deal. Uh, if you want to use any of the molds that we use today, I'll leave a link in the description to Epic Bait Molds. Head on down there, pick yourself up some awesome molds. Uh, and I have some crazy good stuff in the works for you guys. I wish I could tell you about it. I really do. I have two very big things coming, uh, but they're just not quite ready to announce yet. So just stay tuned. I'm working on something really awesome uh, in a couple of different ways, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. It does help the channel out. Appreciate you all. And until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video.